Well, hello and welcome to another video. So this video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm not gonna announce any huge projects. I'm not gonna promise you anything that I can't keep. So anywho, um, in this video, I'm just gonna talk about um, the challenge that I faced recently uh, on the project that I was working on. So basically, I have this client whose ap application basically requires uh, users to be out of the internet um, and the application would be used underground um, in the mine uh, where there will be no internet connection so for obvious reasons i would be using the combination of room database which is a local database and um, the remote da database through apis so that would be that would be a lot of synchronization going on there uh, between room database and the online database so the requirement was the user would get gathered the data being underground uh, without any internet connection and will save that data into the room database in locally and when the user comes back upstairs um, in when there is an internet available uh, the synchronization between that room database and uh, the remote database will get uh, occur right it will have it will get uh, take place so I had to send the data that I gathered uh, when I was underground to the remote API and at the same time I would get the API's uh, data get saved get that data saved to my room database so what I had the challenge here was to continuously monitor the network uh, to determine if I should make those synchronization API calls. Um, so whenever user goes upstairs, that means if the user has that internet connectivity, do the synchronization. Otherwise, don't do the synchronization. Just work on the room database. So that was the functionality that uh, kind of challenged me. Uh, that was that's because I never did that in real time because the requirement was to monitor the network in real time. Uh, I had to know the state of the network real time. So I found out um, the best method, the appropriate method to do that um, was to use connectivity manager. So that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. So let's get on with it. Um, I have this empty project. So um, what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna go to Android manifest file and for obvious reason because we are dealing with internet we will be giving internet permission. So internet. The other two permissions we need is user permissions access network state to obviously access the state of the network and the other one will be change network state to determine if there is any change in the network state or not. So yeah, we can close this um, XML file and we are just gonna check that. We, we, we are not gonna do any UI in this video. We just wanna check the state of the network real time. Uh, so we will just log that in the log cat. So yeah, I'm, I'm just coding this uh, functionality in activity, but you can also do that in fragment by just giving the context and the way to do that in fragment is just to call get context method uh, which should be straightforward to you uh, if you are android developer for long enough but anyway that was something for new developers so yeah i need a network manager sorry connectivity manager so connectivity manager equals to the way to get that is to use get system services and if you are using uh, fragments only uh, the, the only need uh, only thing you would do differently would be to uh, write require uh, required context dot get system services this is how you would do that but anyway we are already in the uh, activity so we don't require that so get system services and uh, the parameter will be connectivity manager double colon class dot java which is the connectivity manager class built in the android uh, system so we'll use this connectivity manager to register to the uh, default network callback um, register sorry 
register default network callback and we'll call anonymous class here object uh, connectivity manager dot network callback there it is and we will overwrite a couple of methods well to be honest there are not just two methods there are multiple methods that uh, this uh, callback can overwrite uh, let's let's look at them what which which methods there are so i'm just gonna press ctrl o so it has on available on losing on lost on unavailable on capabilities change which is to know if the network capabilities has changed on link properties change on block status change so there are a bunch of different um, callbacks that you can override but i'm just interested in couple of them which is on loss which tells you if you are disconnected if your device has lost the network connection and on available which is uh, which tells you if your device uh, gets the network available again so yeah let's just override those two and i'm just gonna log here so log dot d debug just for key i'm just gonna give um network state and the message will be available why not because it is available and the same way i'm just gonna log on lost network state will be lost that's it um now let's let's run this application and see if it uh, if something happens if, if not something if actually this functionality works and tells us if uh, the network is gone or available so first um, uh, what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna open up lockcat let me find that first where is lockcat and here is the emulator so that's our application that's me let me just switch back to lockcat again and here's the application so i'm just gonna go and turn on the airplane mode which should um, imitate uh, when the network is lost on my phone so let's turn on and it should trigger this on lost function and log this lost message on the uh, on the lock cat so let's turn on the airplane mode and as expected it gave me that lost message it triggered this on loss function and if i turn off the airplane mode that means if it uh, it would uh, emulate the um uh, uh, if my phone has the network connection again so let's do that and it should trigger this on available function and it should log this available uh on lock out and as expected that is it did uh do the trick so yeah that's how basically you can uh, check the network state continuously um, on your um, device so what would you do on here instead of logging this you would do the functionality maybe perhaps you want a ui change uh, maybe the same way that i that i did i i called the function for making api calls and ma uh, making that synchronization happen uh, and the on lost i would just let my user know uh, I'll just give my user the appropriate message through toast or perhaps uh, a snack bar that you are out of internet uh, please connect to internet something like that so yeah that's how you basically can uh, continuously monitor the state of your network uh, be be uh, keep one thing in mind that it will not continuously monitor your network uh, it will just uh, continuously monitor the state of your network if you are connected to it if you if some if you are lost then only will know that you are lost the network if you, if the network is available it, it will just trigger that unavailable function so yeah basically that's what i wanted to demonstrate and that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video